to a new video. So in today's video, I have been sent by McCart a pink nail extension gel kit. It's not actually gel, well, it's Acra Gel, which is a mix of gel and acrylic. So uh, the kit's pretty cute. Inside, it comes with like literally everything you need, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna show you what's in it. I'm just gonna get the stuff out right. So first little box is a six watt LED UV light. It's actually really cute. I didn't use it in this video though. I'm gonna use my actual proper light thing. Um, it comes with a, a rechargeable, no, it's not rechargeable, it's a charging cable, but I think it needs to be plugged in to use it. I don't think it charges up. So yeah, these are the instructions. They're pretty straightforward. And I tell you what I like about this is, it's got these little feet you literally you just tap the top and it comes on <laughs> i don't even try it on to be honest <laughs> i'm assuming it works but i don't use these little lamps but they are cute if you're traveling anywhere you know and you want to change your gel polish just take your little lamp with you all right this is the other box inside here has got some glitters i'm not going to show you the glitters because or and there's crystals as well look just look really quick 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 now put them away nats and then crystals uh two different types of crystals in there uh i'm not going to show these very i'm not going to get them out and you know show them completely because i am ambassadors for other glitter and you know crystal companies so um i'm just going to concentrate on showing you the acra gel for this set so on the instruction it does say two to three minutes i think it says i can't see yeah two to three minutes if you're using that little lamp so i do it for 60 seconds in my i don't know what, what it is but it's it's a lot higher than four uh, six watts so you get different colored pink aqua gels you get a top coat a base coat you get a file you get a brush and picker I don't, I don't know what it's called and you get some nail cleanser which you can use to um, manipulate the acra gel into place this is the brush and what do they call it yeah brush and picker so one side you've got the brush and the other side you've got the spatula Ta -da! <laughs> right so they're they're numbered i can't see what that number was but this one is a clear what i'm going to do is I didn't bother putting this onto the palette because you can see it's clear. So that's a clear aqua gel. So this is 382. If I can see the number, I'll read it out. If I can't, I won't. <laughs> this is a sheer pink. Then we've got 383. I think this is one of my favorite pinks. And then we've got 384. I'll show you them all at the end. And then obviously 385, and I think there's a 386. Yeah. So I just thought instead of swatching them, I'll just pop them on the palette and show you. So there they they all are. So you've got like a couple of sheer ones, and then you've got like three more opaque ones. And then you've got the clear one, obviously, which I haven't swatched, swatched, you know, popped on my palette. So, I'm not going to lie, Acrogel is not my favourite system to use. In fact, I absolutely hate Acrogel. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. I just absolutely hate the stuff. Um, but because they McCart kindly sent it to me, so I am going to do something with it. Um, it's just, it's not, there's nothing wrong with this actual acrylic, um, this Acrogel. It's quite, I actually quite like that it's, it's more of a, um, some I've used in the past are really sticky. This one isn't as sticky. So in some respects, it kind of makes it a little bit... Um, oh, what am I trying to say? Well, if you're doing like a full nail of this, I would prefer it to be more like the kisses consistency of Macart Acra Gel, if that makes sense. But just I, I, I put way too I always right I either with acro gel I always get too little or way too much if you hear my son in the background he's been to the dentist today bless him he had to have a filling and a tooth out oh he was so brave 
So right, I'm adding a bit more. I didn't use my little spatula at all. I do use it though. I do use it later on in the video. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the aqua gel to this nail. And I decided to do a clear free edge on this one. I just felt like, I don't know, it seems to take me ages as well to work with aqua gel. Oh, I don't know, it's, yeah, oh, and I had some issues through the video, which you will see, which is my fault, it's nothing to do with the product. <laughs> but I'm blaming the product, but it's not really the product, it's, I promise it's not. Um, so here I'm just tapping out the pink, and I'm going to bring it down the nail a little bit. And then I'm going to pop that on the lamp. So I've kind of done like a bit of a fade. And then I'm going to use Airy Fairy Glitter. So this is from Nail Sugar. And you can get 10% off any Nail Sugar glitters using my code NATMUG10. I also have a, I think it's a 15% off code for my cart. Which is NM Nail Artist. Um, but all the links and discount codes will be in the description box below. So if you want to find it afterwards, go and have a look. But I'm adding some of Nail Sugar's glitter to this. So this set is for a breast cancer awareness set. I didn't want to do it. I don't know. I, I'm not very... I never really know what to do for these sets. So I thought I'd just sort of make it a nice pink set. And later on, I'm going to add a ribbon on. I'm going to, going to paint a ribbon on for the... You know, because the ribbon symbolises... Does it symbolise breast cancer? I don't know. Um, but when you see the breast cancer... Um, you know, you know what I mean by the ribbon. So, I've just put the base coat on the nail. And I just placed some of the glitter on the base coat where I wanted it. And then I pop that in the lamp to cure. And then on this nail... Do you know what it is? Half of the problem is that I... Uh, I have because I because this pro this one isn't gooey, um, gooey. Yeah, it's not gooey. It's it's one that you I I had to. Ha <laughs> oh, I can't speak. I had to work this quite. What's the word? I had to be a little bit forceful with it. That's probably the, yeah the right thing. A little bit forceful, and the tips kept popping off the stands, and I just I, you'll see me in a minute. I I flap my hands like a child. <laughs> because I was getting so annoyed but this nail I am going to do a full nail of that pink again I've taken far too little product I thought yeah I can work that all the way down but I couldn't so I'm just going to plop a little bit more on the bottom I'm going to do like a full glitter nail on this one but I'm using did I use the I think I used the dark pink for that first nail did I I can't remember where even is it i think it's still in the lamp so yeah i'm just trying to see it seems to take me ages as well it might not take me ages actually it might just seem like it takes me ages but i feel like i am forever trying to i think it's because gel is a lot is a lot less is a lot runnier than aqua gel and and then acrylic sets up like on its own so you have to work with it quite quickly whereas aqua gel it doesn't it won't move and it won't set until you actually put it in the lamp to cure all right here we go look base coat on this one so this is cured for 60 seconds and i'm going to go in with the base coat and this time i got a bit lazy and i decided to sprinkle the glitter onto this nail i know how lazy <laughs> And then I do a, a serious amount of faffing, which is why I fast forward it from here. Boop, there we go. I've finished faffing. I've tried to flatten the glitter as much as I can. And then I will pop it into the lamp. Okay, this next one, I'm going to do an ombre between that brighter pink and that slightly less bright pink. I can't even, I can't remember the numbers. <laughs> Oh, I've got caramel latte and it's so nice. I haven't had a proper drink today. Oh yes, I did. I had a cherry Pepsi Max this morning. Oh, it's been it's been a day. I was on the phone to the doctors for my dad because they wouldn't give an appointment. The the receptionist was on a power trip. Um, he got one in the end, but 
I said, right, I'm going to ring them for you. Uh, 25 minutes I was on the phone and I accidentally hung up. Then I'd done it, I had to go back onto the phone. I had to ring up again. 45 minutes I was on the phone call. No one picked up. I was just in a queue and I had to hang up because I had to go and get my son to the dentist. So honestly, oh, I did get lots of housework done though while I was on hold. <laughs> and then, yeah, why was, why was I telling you that? I don't know. But it's been a morning. It's been a day. And uh, the boiler man was, when we got back, because the boiler man was servicing our boiler and it was an afternoon appointment between 12 and 5, but they couldn't, they couldn't come between 2 and 4. So, yeah, when, when we got, I thought, oh, we'll, we'll get home before the boiler man gets there. Anyway, we pulled up and the poor boiler man was standing outside, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I've, I've cured that first pink. And then I'm going in with this other pink and I'm going to blend it upwards. I've actually turned the nail upside down. You can turn your client's hand around and get them to hold their fingers upwards so that you can work this way. Because people say, oh, you can't do that on a client, but you can. You don't have to have your client's hands flat right in front of you. You can turn their hand. You have to, when you check your structure, you move their hand. So why can't you do it when, yeah, I'm just saying, don't go, don't moan nuts. Um, yeah, it popped off here. So I tried to push it back down and I ruined my blend. So I was faffing again with it and I was really annoyed because it looked quite good the first time. And I was trying to get the yeah the product here off the bottom because I put too much on. And then I put the little bit more back on this bit because I thought, alright, I'll try and get that blend done. <laughs> Honestly, I just I don't know, it just doesn't like I to be fair, I'm not qualified in aqua gel, so and I think the trouble is, is I'm trying to do things that are too, see look, it came off, oh god, I think I'm trying to do things that I'm, are too, I don't know if I'm being too adventurous with it, I don't know, I'm going to put that in the lamp to cure, and then I'm going to go over this with a little bit of clear, I'm just going to put a little, little layer of clear on the top of this, um, if you're doing it on a client, I guess this part you'd, you'd use the clear to create your apex I suppose um, but I'm just putting a bit of clear on so that I don't file through my ombre try to think what it was then so literally just a nice thin coat because I'm not worried about my apex because it's just on a tip and then once I'm happy that will go in the lamp I always find it's really lumpy bumpy as well I can't get it nice and smooth. Okay, now I didn't want to waste that aqua gel that I put on the palette. So I decided I was going to try and do a marble. So obviously there's not enough aqua gel here. So I'm going to put loads more on my palette. I'll put one of each colour and I'm just going to scoop the spatula end through it. And then scoop it up. Like that. And then pop it on the nail. And again, I do faff so much. So I just kind of put it on the nail. I don't want to work. I don't want to work at it too much. But yeah, I. I want it. Look, it came off. This is this is the moment. I was like, play it in normal speed. Look, it came off. And then I was like, how am I supposed to hold this? And I'm so glad I had my gloves on because I just, I just lost my temper with it. I was gonna throw it. I was gonna throw the whole set away. I didn't know. I just completely. Look here, I was like, oh! <laughs> anyway, fast forward, and I finally made it to this point. I was like, forget that, that fifth nail can go away. So I'm just going to leave these as they are. I did cap the glitter ones in some clear, and I'll fold and buff them. Then I'm using Rachel Wilder's multi-gel paints. Multi-art gel paints? I can't remember what they were called, but I've got number... Was it number one? which was, was it angelic, and then 25, which was seductive, which was the red. So I've mixed them to create a pink, and I'm just gonna use the pink to create my ribbon on this nail. And I'm gonna fast forward it a bit because we'll be here all day otherwise.
Okay, so that's going to go into the lamp. I'm going to add a little bit of shading on one side. So I'm going to make the one the ribbon a bit darker on the other side. Then I'm using the black art gel. And I'm going to use this just to outline the ribbon. I don't know what it was, but I found I found it quite difficult working on on the aqua gel. I wanted I wanted to I wanted to do the outline. I always I always feel like when you put an outline on something, it kind of just finishes it off. I didn't want to leave it out. Yeah, because also when you do when you do this, you can just neaten up neaten up all the edges as well. Can you see our uh, that? side of the ribbon I've made a bit darker I just added a tiny bit of red and worked it into that gel paint before I cured it but I didn't show you me doing it because this video is really really long <laughs> like really long okay so I'm gonna fast forward this bit a little bit and I will see you at the other end Okay, so that's gonna. I've just. I'm gonna clean up the little mistakes that I made on that, and then that's gonna go in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so the glitter nails. I'm gonna do shiny. So I'm gonna use the top coat that came in the kit. This nail that I'm doing here, I do top coat the underneath as well, where the free edge is, because that is clear. And if you top coat the underneath, it just makes it a little bit more transparent. And then I'm going to use a matte top coat on the ribbon nail and the marble nail. Don't top coat the, the marble nail now though. Um, I've jumped a gun, I've missed a step. So I did have to file the top coat off that one. Look, I'm top coating it and it was too early. So pretend I'm not doing that yet. <laughs> and then pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds. So the decals that I'm using are the premium nail art decals from Nail Sugar. I haven't used these yet, but they've got some really like positive, inspiring words on them. And I thought they'd be good for this set. So I cut three out and I've cut off as much of the excess from around the letter lettering as I can. Um, the nail needs a tacky layer, so you're going to have to go and base coat the nail because the, the decals need something to stick to. So I'm just gonna base coat it. Then I've got a little bit of water in um, like a, it was actually a tea light holder thing, but I use it as a dappen dish. I'm gonna do one word at a time. I was gonna be brave and do all three, but I thought, no, do one at a time. And I'm glad I did, because I would have mucked it up completely. But right, you put your decal on a stamper, put a little bit of water on the back of the decal. Leave it for the same amount of time that you would as if you dunked it in the water. And then eventually that back will just peel away. So now we've got our we've got our, our word on the stamper and the decal backing has just come off. There we go. So that says warrior. So that I'm going to stamp onto the nail and then I will do the same thing with the the stamp has got a see-through barrel so you can see where you're putting it which is helpful there we go so i'm going to put the other two on as well and it will look like this there we go so i've used warrior courage and love i thought that was quite nice and then i'm going to top coat this with the matte top coat and then i will pop it in the lamp again for the second time <laughs> There we are. So we've got our finished, actually it's not quite finished, there's something else that we're going to do. Right, if you want, you can use the crystals in the pack, but I am going to use, drum roll, these are Preciosa Fuchsia Flatback Round Crystals from Crystal Parade, and I'm going to use the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue to adhere these. So I've put some gem glue around just the, the cuticle area. We're going to do like a cuff around the cuticle area. And I'm just going to do, like, what do you call it? Oh, I need to burp. Um, I'm going to put the bigger crystal in the centre. And then as you go around the cuticle area, they're going to taper. They're going to taper off. So they're going to get smaller. And then I'm going to add some caviar beads as well. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bow nail, the ribbon nail. And then they will look like this. Ta-da! Um, yeah, if you're going to do a fifth nail, good luck. <laughs> uh, 
anyway um i quite like these i thought they were really nice and i thought the decals were a nice touch so anyway i'm gonna leave discount codes to um my cart i'll put a link actually to the set in the bottom and i hope you like this video if you did please leave a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i'll see you on thursday with another video love you all bye